again, it's the harmonica man again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about armature a little bit. Um, the first things first, um, when you're holding your harmonica, you know, kind of tilt it back like that, and use your tongue, and, and kind of roll your tongue back like this, and and drop the jaw down when you're on the lower notes. So listen to a uh, backing track from Quist right now and uh, G. Where is it? Yeah, G, groove. Um, when you get up to like the 7 plus, that right there is like spitting out a, a watermelon seed. Uh, Ronnie Shellis explained it one day. And that's how I learned how to bend on the high octave. And a lot of people have this, and you keep the same armature and the same tilt. You get that, get that uh, kind of cheek pucker in there too. And pucker that sucker up and play single note well, it's down here like this, and it's kind of opposite. Like, for instance, drop the jaw down and roll your tongue back. It drops the notes down on the lower octave. But then the high octave, at least the ten hole anyway, It's the opposite. You, it, when you drop down and roll your tongue back, for some odd reason, that note goes higher. It's weird as hell. I have no idea how to explain it. It's just the way they make the reads. They're, you know, they're, they're crazy. But that's pretty much all I have on armature for today. Um, and bending those notes on the low and, and high octave. Um, you're going to want to practice at this, but you're going to want to practice your armature first. And, you know, try it on the low and mid-range and everything. This, the higher ones, you need to be a little bit more advanced to do because you'll blow them out. I mean, it's, it's very, like if you have a lighter in front of you, one foot, and you, that's the flame test. If you're blowing it out, you're blowing too damn hard. You think because they're higher that you blow harder. You don't. You blow less. Okay. Otherwise, you're just going to crack them and blow them right out, and this, it's, it's just horrible. It really is. Um, so practice just on your armature, and see? See how that's all ready? Just on a straight note, I'm going to blow or draw on the two. So how clean that is? Now listen. Gives it a little bit more fuller, bendier sound. And you're not even bending, really. It just gives it that fuller, more rounded, bluesy sound.
It's not COVID. Nope. It's pork rind. I should slow down on that crap. Anyways, that's all I got today on Armature and bending the notes in between the octaves for today, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you enjoyed it, and just keep right on practicing. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that usual crap. Tell your friends, join on in. You can't do live stuff and or anything until I get over a thousand subscribers, so I can't have you join me on anything yet, because per YouTube rules, because, you know, they're getting to suck lately. Anyways, as always, remember... <laughs>